Welcome to Noir Alley. I'm your host, Eddie Muller. Tonight, I am joined by Dana Delaney. She was with me uh, two weeks ago for her guest programmer stint and a gig on Noir Alley. I couldn't let her go. I held her hostage. <laughs> <laughs> it was just too much fun. I've been on ice. <laughs> yes, so we have Dana back tonight because we are presenting another Gloria Graham picture. Tonight, it's The Glass Wall from Columbia Pictures in 1953. Another film that you did not select, but just happened to fall in the schedule uh, where it made sense for you to come back and talk more about Gloria. So tell us a little bit about this picture. Well, it's a timely picture. It is a timely picture. Yeah, yeah. It's about a guy who, uh, Victoria Gassman plays him, who uh, hops a ship in Trieste and comes to Ellis Island. And actually, he doesn't go to Ellis Island, but comes to no. New York. And he tries to get off, and I said, no, you don't have the right papers. Yes, and he become, and in classic noir fashion, he become, you know, he's a refugee mm -hmm. who is like loose in New York City, uh, pursued by the cops. He knows one person, uh, you know, uh, who was a guy he saved in the war, that his, you know, his American friend, right. that he's going to try to find, the needle in the haystack in New him. York City, yes. And... Um, and Gossman is really terrific yes. in this film. Yeah. Now, it's interesting because we love it because Gloria Graham is in it, but obviously she was not the first choice to be in the film because that would be... Shelley Winters, of who course. was married to Victoria oh, Gossman at the that's time. That's right. Yes. And I understand that Shelley Winters even did the trailer for the film. Oh, God, yes. Promoting it yes. to say, my husband, Vittorio Gossman, is in this new movie with Gloria Graham. <laughs> I didn't get the part. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of odd. I guess it must have been scheduling or something. Well, she was pumping her husband out. Yeah, uh, but I mean, why she didn't actually play the part in the movie. It is kind of a Shelley Winters part. Yeah. But Gloria makes it a Gloria Graham And she part. had just won an Oscar for Bad and the Beautiful. Right. Well, it's an interesting film because to an audience today... I think the message in this film, and it doesn't show up on every noir filmography because it is kind of more of a message picture than yeah. a straight crime drama. The movie was produced and co-written by Ivan Tors, who was a Hungarian refugee. So this film is very much a personal project for him. Yeah. And although a lot of the message making is a little heavy handed, yeah. it seems very genuine. Right? Yes. Don't, did you feel that? Yeah, I feel like um, it's a little tricky because, you know, the American bureaucracy is there, and but we can't make them look like bad guys because, you know, they're Americans. And so what's great is that you realize from the point of view of an immigrant how much we have, how rich we are in our country, and we don't appreciate it. You yes. know, every person he goes to for help, he's like, he said, sorry about, you know, the crappy you know, apartment I have, he goes, this is beautiful. It's like a palace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's from a, his perspective that really makes it work and sells it. And and he's uh, kind of brilliant in the way he plays he those scenes. He has like a clown face, this very open, innocent face that just kind of reacts to everything so innocently, like a baby almost, you know, like he actually has a line, Times Square. Just like Eddie said it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fantastic. And and I know what you mean about the authorities. I mean, it's a very tricky thing. They didn't want to run afoul, mm -hmm. you know, because Yvonne Torres was a foreigner, yeah. right? He doesn't want to run afoul of the U.S. government. So they cast a guy like Douglas Spencer, who plays the officious yes. immigration guy, who is always doing it with a little hint that, Oh, he's going to come around. Yeah, you know, not he's he's guy. not such a bad guy. It'll it'll <laughs> yeah. be okay. Yeah. And then you're like, no, I'm not so sure. And then, oh no, he is. It'll yeah. be fine. You know. But can we talk about the look of the movie? Absolutely. Joe Barack, DP. Oh, the best. Yeah, who I got to work with. Oh, fantastic! My, my first uh, television, one of my first. It was called A Winner Never Quits with uh, Keith Carradine, who played when I'm baseball player. And Joe okay. Brock shot it when he was 83. Wow. Um, I wish I knew who he was. You know, I was just a young yeah. actress. I didn't know who he was. I wish I had known at the time. But the way he shoots Times Square, 
it, it's equal to any Rossellini movie. It's just it, beautiful. No, it, is, it is really gorgeous and a lot of fabulous. I mean, it's a little unfortunate because there's some back projection work mm -hmm. in the film because they couldn't get Vittorio Gossman out on the streets as much as they would have liked. There is a lot. On the there street. is a lot. And it's very much like a precursor to what James Wong Howe uh, did in Sweet Smell of Success. Mm -hmm. yes, I mean, it it's right in the so. middle of yeah. Times Square yeah. and you see all the fabulous neon and it's, you know, it's and the, music, the, the, the city music. that never sleeps. Yeah. yeah. With Jack Teagarden, the great yes. trombonist Jack Teagarden has a playing himself in this movie, and Shorty Rogers and his band. Yeah. Uh, that That's pretty cool. That was an unexpected bonus. Yeah, you know? the New York nightlife is great, and just the faces and people like that. And and also, I love I love the way Gloria looks in this, because it's very real. You know, wrinkled, baggy skirt, you know, sweater, not fancy at all. Right. And as you said, she had just won the Oscar, and it's so interesting that she would choose to essentially dress down yeah. for a part like this and play, you know, a totally down on her luck, you know, woman just scraping by. And it's an unapologetic Completely performance. Un unsentimental. Completely. Yeah. And I love that about it. And and I think it shows that she knew that she was really a character actor. You know, she wanted to lean into that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm hoping people are going to like this one. You know, I know the Gloria Graham fans are tuning in. <laughs> and I think there may be a few Vittorio Gossman fans as well. So... Here it is, uh, from 1953, produced and co-written by Yvonne Tours and Maxwell Shane. Here are Vittorio Gossman and Gloria Graham in The Glass Wall. 